Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team game. We are in the weekend league and these games have been pretty action packed so far. We've been in some nail biters, we've been in some high scoring games as Barry hits the spin move. We'll see what this game can provide and right now Barry Sanders is providing a show to the crowd breaking tackles, getting a nice game going back to Barry. But this time he is tripped up by the die tackle, only a gain of three. Now we come out passing with Cam, thinking about running, looking, finding Kelsey in the flat who comes down with the catch but actually goes out of bounds right there so we're not able to get the first down on third cam passing to randy moss for the first down not feeling much resistance from his defensive line as you see he's only rushing three people right he's got the quarterback spy out as well there as that strategy still does not stop him from giving up a pass to odo beckham jr but this is a coverage that a lot of people are running right now just putting like seven eight even nine guys dropping them back because Blitzes, people don't really know the blitzes too well in this game so far this year. Block sheds in general aren't working too well, so it's hard to get a pass rush. So you kind of just got to hope you drop a bunch of people back and maybe you'll get a stop as we cap off the drive with a Barry Sanders run. Which was very nice to get the ground game going on that first drive of the game because you don't want to show your opponent too much of the playbook when you start the game off as he comes out in the monster and he, speaking of getting the ground game established, has got Barry Sanders hitting a home run. We're not going to see anything about his offense besides the fact that he just came out a monster right there. And I thought we came out a good defense to stop it, but I don't know. We just like got through there with Barry Sanders somehow. So we'll have to adjust to that because he's probably going to come out in that monster formation again since it worked previously at some point in the game. But first, we got to focus back on the offensive side of the ball here as we find Odell Beckham Jr. 6 for 6 passing with Cam. And that is going to be a sack. Still 6 for 6 passing, but we lost 9 yards after Don Terry Poe came through. Now he's only rushing 2 people as that's the first incompletion cam throws of course to a wide open guy is third down we run it with barry getting a lot of yards but not enough for the first down but i ran that play knowing that we were going to go for it on fourth down and eight risky decision a lot of time cam trying to hit kelsey but cam newton with two overthrows to end that drive and now philip rivers steps on the field and philip for the first time looking to pass and he gets it off to Devonte adams who is drilled by landon collins hicks on the recovery and hicks almost took that all the way philip rivers actually saved the touchdown on the play that developed pretty quickly it came from him entering the red zone to him getting knocked on his backside by landon collins and landon collins he delivers big hits in this game, especially for a secondary player. Landon Collins is probably the hardest hitting player on my team as far as not only hit power, but just bringing the boom on people as Barry Sanders tiptoeing the sidelines and getting to the 18 yard line. That, you know, very fortunate fumble is helping us try to change the tide in this game. But we throw an interception. This is Bruce Irvin, who is going to be tripped up and... That was a little bit of a miscommunication right there. I didn't think Barry Sanders would cut into triple coverage. I thought he would stay on the sideline where he was standing. But as I threw the ball, he cut to the left. And that didn't work out too well. That's just one of those things that happens in Madden. You really don't know what your player is going to do. Sometimes it's, he jokes with Phillip Rivers. Really dangerous move, especially for someone who just fumbled the ball. I'm not too sure I'd be doing what he was doing as he takes a shot for Keenan Allen. But that is overthrown. Third down and one comes out passing with Rivers. Finding Delaney Walker in the corner for the third first down. Delaney Walker, one of his star players, as you guys saw in the beginning of the game. So we'll have to try to contain him as Rivers. Freaking tackles out here. I don't know if this is Phillip Rivers or Cam Newton he has on his team. The way he's fighting for extra yards as he gets the first down spinning with Adams. Marching to the 33-yard line. Still a tie 7-7 game despite all the events that have happened in the past couple of possessions. He gets sacked by KJ Wright. Second down and long to the wheel to Keenan Allen. And Allen gets the first down. The clock becoming a little bit of a factor at the end of the first half. Rivers! Gotta worry about that pass rush as well. That's a Olivier Vernon coming in for the sack this time as that should have been picked off by Singletary. Had it in his hands and it went right back out. Unfortunately, third down Rivers taking off, getting yardage. That should make the field goal easier for him, but definitely will not give him the first down. So he gets the field goal, gets the lead. That drive, I mean, we didn't give up a touchdown, but at the same time, you know, that Singletary play right through his hands. Really not much we could do about that as John Ross trying to take one back before halftime. That would have been huge. Instead, I don't know if that was my mistake. I kind of ran into the guy or not. But we come out on offense. And who? Odell Beckham Jr. had it and then got rocked. Look at those pancakes as we run it with Barry hitting a spin move. 
but that's not really gonna do it too much it, it looks flashy but we need to get a lot more yards to get into field goal range or maybe even a touchdown we gotta hit a home run on this one third down cam newton just waiting surveying the field and we're actually able to find randy moss who gets out of bounds with two seconds left that sets up janikowski to hit this one home and we have tied the game up at 10 apiece a really uneven first half. There's a lot of things that I wish we could have done differently. There's a lot of things that I feel like, okay, maybe, you know, we got away with. So it's a 10-10 game. We just got to get a defensive stop and we'll take it from there as Phillip Rivers with a lot of time. We've sent four people on this play. You wouldn't know because Rivers is just sitting, waiting, and still nearly gets picked off at the end of it all. A second down, he's back in the monster to Barry Sanders and Barry's breaking away again. He only has one touchdown in this game. It's going to be two touchdowns downs and they're both gonna come via the monster formation but as you guys see it's not like we're getting pancaked at the line of scrimmage we're moving our defense alignment over doing what we have to do to make sure we do not get pancaked because if you do not move your d line around those players just get pancaked and that's what makes the monster formation so cheesy we're preventing that but we're just getting beat at the line of scrimmage basically and barry's able to take it off both times so still we have not found the proper adjustment to stopping the monster and now we find ourselves down seven and um, if we don't find it soon, we're going to lose. All right. But once again, first, we got to focus on this side of football, the offensive side. Second down and nine. Cam Newton looking in the corner to Odell Beckham Jr. And Odell able to accelerate away from James Harrison for the first down. This is pretty much four down territory here. I'm really not interested in taking field goals. We want to get a touchdown on this drive. And I feel like we are capable of getting a touchdown on this drive as Cam Newton dancing around behind that two man pass rush that is just not coming home anytime soon. Looking, waiting, being very patient finding Barry who drops the ball somehow even when Cam finds the right man I really don't know what to do but third down in 10 you just gotta keep on firing you can't get your head down those things are gonna happen you just gotta keep working dude <laughs> if they put you down two times try to hit them the third time that's what we did and Unfortunately, the fourth time we come out, it ends up being an overthrow as we run the ball with Barry Sanders looking to get the first, but we actually go out of bounds right there, bringing up a third down and two at the 18-yard line. Cam looking to pass. Cam well protected, hitting Ross, who gets hit a little bit harder, and he is not able to hang on. Fourth down and two, like I said, not interested in few goals, and that's going to be intercepted by Bruce Irvin, who might have had a chance to take that back to the crib and warm for the camera change right there, and... I'm not one to make too too many excuses in Madden, but Travis Kelsey stopped running his route. He literally just kind of jogged at the end of the play, and I'm pretty sure that affected it all. I, I don't know why. He's just kind of stopped running his route, but that did not help anything. Third down and 16, though. Here's Phillip Rivers throwing in completion and a big-time stop by our defense. Now, apparently, we need one more stop because he is bringing the offense on the field. Fourth down and 16, his own 26-yard line, and he's able to convert to Delaney Walker. I can't believe we gave that up right there. That was our chance to get off the field, and... We just didn't get off. Now, here we are, down seven, start of fourth quarter. Can't give up any more points because that'll make it a two-possession game as Rivers taking hits left and right. That's a sack loss of half a yards via Charles Haley. That catch is going to nearly get him the first down. Take it to a third down and run as he runs the football. Gets the first down. He's also chewing up a lot of clock. Near field goal range, we need this stop. No more first downs or else we have all but lost this game. Charles Haley, big-time sack right there, bringing up a second down and 17 as we hit the two-minute warning. He runs it with Barry, and he is shut down. And now it's third down and long. He puts on two clock. We do not call that timeout. Here's Rivers down the seams. Got his man for the first down, Devontae Parker. And that might have daggered this game. We really have no shot unless we force a turnover. As he is still passing the football, chewing clock. I guess he's trying to run the score up. Throwing and picked off by Mike Singletary. I don't know why he came out in five wide, but he gets picked off and gives us new life. And here's Barry Sanders. It's Sanders versus Sanders down the sideline. And Dion trips him up but we still have life in this one somehow big time play here's barry once again need a touchdown sanders
Sanders. Once again, tackle by Deion Sanders. But we have quickly moved the ball to the seven yard line. Gotta get a touchdown right here. 20 seconds left. Running hurry up since we only have one timeout. Cam Newton gonna give him the ball and see if he can score. Whether it's throwing or running. Newton getting out of bounds to stop the clock at the three yard line. 11 seconds left. Cam once again looking to pass. Oh, it's T.Y. wide open. And T.Y. comes through. This is the PAT to tie the game up. And Janikowski is perfect with seven seconds left. The game was lost. And he gave us a chance. And we capitalized as Barry Sanders on the kickoff. We're going to make something happen. Barry. No, oh, he takes it to midfield, and that was a lot more dangerous than it looked. And now here's one Hail Mary to try to win the game at the end. The regulation, Philip Rivers, intercepted by Eric Berry, waiting for him to get back up. He's taken down. That is the end of regulation, but not the end of the game, because we are going to overtime. It should be the end of the game. I don't know what this guy was trying to do, but now we receive the ball to start overtime. A touchdown for our offense wins the game, and that's all. I'm focused on right now. We have all the momentum in this one after making that comeback. Here's John Ross on the kickoff. John Ross trying to get the edge, spinning, and brought down at just the 23 yard line. Need to go 77 yards on this drive if we want to win the game without his offense stepping on the field in a big time start. We're at midfield already after the Barry Sanders catch. Here's a Barry Sanders screen looking to get some blocks, and Barry just going to go out of bounds. Nice gain of six yards. Next play, Cam. Cam Newton with the ball in his hands. We need Cam to come through with some clutch throws. So far, so good. T.Y. Hilton moves the chains to the 29-yard line. Next play, only rushing two. Cam is at, he has a ton of time. Just waiting, waiting. No one's coming through, so we're just going to look, look. Not really force anything. Now we roll out. Now we throw and pick him with the catch on the sidelines. And what a throw by Cam Newton as we look to run it for the win with Barry. Juking into James Harrison, not going to get anything on this one. The goal line so hard to score at as we run it with Ty Montgomery, who ends it with a walk-off touchdown run. The undefeated record stays intact, even though it really should not have. I can't tell you what my opponent tried to do, but you know what? I'll take the win. He wanted to give me a chance. He wanted to... You know, force the issue. That's what he gets. I have not seen a man who deserved the loss more Madden 18 more than this guy. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 18 gameplays if you guys enjoyed that pretty surprising comeback. And I will catch you guys next time.